Hey there, fellow underdog entrepreneurs. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to take you behind the scenes on my content planning workflow inside ClickUp. It's a work in progress, but hopefully there will be some practical tips that you can swipe, maybe help you master your content planning process. Before I get all clicky with it, I did want to say and give a shout out to Yvonne Hyman and from Ask Evie. I'm gonna put her channel link up here in the comments uh, if you're over on YouTube. Also would like to thank Layla from Process Driven. Definitely check out their channels and I'll have links in the description as well. They both have been a huge inspiration in helping me tackle the overwhelm that I created inside of ClickUp. Yes, I made a big, big mistake. One of the things I've been working on this year, simplifying my ClickUp because I over-engineered the crap out of it. So if you wanna see the big mistake I made, check out this video. Uh, one of the mistakes that I made with ClickUp is I just jumped in there and just started creating spaces and lists and checklists and all of that stuff. But one of the changes that I'm making this year is taking the time to sketch out the process first before I start trying to build it out in ClickUp. So for me, the biggest challenge I'm trying to solve right now is how to be more consistent creating content. Uh, but this is a work in progress. So the first part of it is just uh, the idea process. I can come up with ideas all day long. I get inspiration when I'm reading books, when I'm studying YouTube. And then there's the actual production. What I'm doing right now, the production side of things and then next is promotion and split testing, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work, then doing analytics review just to see, did things work, did they not work? And then maybe doing some maintenance. But what I'm gonna cover today and show you inside ClickUp, because again, it's a work in progress. I'm still getting there. So we're gonna do the orange stuff. Big surprise, I know the orange stuff first. I created a list inside of ClickUp with the uh, light bulb, uh, status. So that is over here, down here, I've created an idea not started status inside of ClickUp. So that for me was the first one. Not all ideas are going to make it to the cutting room floor. We're not going to produce it. And that's what I found. So the first thing I need to do is, is kind of triage that. So is this a topic or a keyword that my audience wants to learn about? Uh, if not, if it's not something that maybe I should do right now, then I have, I have it moved to this status right here, which was back burner where it's not approved. So they would go into this status right here, which is back burner. So that is something that I, I've done, I did recently. So that's not all the way set up because I found that that list became like super busy. As you can see here, if I go back to my content ideas and I look at that list of all the things that, that are ideas not started, uh, there's a bunch and I've segmented that into a, uh, an inbox so I can capture that. So that's the part of this triage process. Either they're going to go make it on to the next sorting round, which is research. Let me go back to all content ideas. So the things that I think would be great to move into research, maybe I need to do a little more research on it. Maybe I need to do a poll on LinkedIn, whatever it is, uh, but just kind of vet that idea. All I have to do is check this button. There's one of the other things I'll play around with automation. So if I custom field changes, just kind of give you a sneak peek what that looks like. So if I check that box, that it's approved, if it's an idea I wanna pursue, it's gonna go ahead and move it into the in progress board and then mark it status as booked and planning. So that's this process right here. Marks it as approved and then goes into my content plan. That's as far as I've gotten so far. Uh, but if you wanna see this whole thing, we're gonna be breaking this down in future videos where I'm gonna show you what that production process looks like. Those of you who are Team Orange members, you're gonna get access to the templates once we go through all of these and I work out the kinks in the production process. The production process is gonna go on and where this content will live in other places. Because what I'm trying to do is duplicate my efforts so that I'm not making 
content every single day of the week. I'm doing things like this where we're recording a live stream, but I'm, I'm doing a podcast segment out of it. I'm doing YouTube shorts. I'm doing, you know, Instagram reels. I'm doing multiple form content. So that's where everything is going to go. That is the roadmap of where I'm going with things inside of ClickUp. But I started with the process first. Mapping this out took less than an hour. And once I mapped it out, it became super easy to go in and make sense of things. For me, every time I opened ClickUp and I went to my ideas board, it kind of froze. That sneaky peek of what I'm working on right now, uh, it's just the beginning of where I wanna go, like I said. Uh, in the meantime, if you wanna to see how I started the process of decluttering my ClickUp, uh, check out the video up in the uh, YouTube cards. If you could help a brother out, if you can like and subscribe while you're here, if you found this video helpful. Uh, until next time, uh, happy ClickUp.